Hiya and welcome back. Just started the ascent and uh, I'm glad to be get to get off that road. Really, there's no real uh, footpath and uh, it's quite a quick road that. So I've just jumped over a gate and cutting across this field to uh, get onto the path. See my cars, cars down there. So bit of a last minute one this I was I've been fancying this for quite some time but uh, just been really busy at the moment lots going on and at the last minute I just thought sod it I'm going <laughs> and uh, it's bank holiday and the traffic yeah so normally it takes me less than two hours to get here it took me over three but we're here now and uh, what a beautiful day. Don't know what you can see on the GoPro, but that's looking out to see at the wind farms. Um, if we turn around this way, that's not actually our target, but the target's behind that, Black Coombe. So I just reached the start of the ascent and the first gate. So Black Coombe yeah, it's 600 meters and you pretty much start from sea level. So, you know, it's nearly a 2000 feet climb and um, I'm interested to see how long it takes. I set off half past four. It's nearly 10 to five now. So I'll, uh, we'll see what time it is when I get to the top and uh, let you know how long it takes. I think it's good for you guys to know if you fancy doing these type of walks, you know, how long it is for different sections. And uh, I'm a pretty quick walker though, I don't hang around, but if I'm filming like this, obviously that takes a bit of time. So uh, let's get on with it. Oh, uh. Right, right, that's a climb, and uh, I think I'm shut up. I think I'm just reaching sort of the first step of this route to the summit of uh, Black Coombe. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no wind at all, and uh, I think it was about 23 degrees when I left the car, so it's a warm one. I'm even sweat, I'm even sweating. Anyway, we'll keep going. So I've just topped out on the first steep ascent, which is down there. And there's sort of a flat section here, not too bad. And I think the ascent from here is more gradual up there, see? And I've just checked my altimeter thing, if you can see that. 1,025 feet, something like that. Yeah, so, God, I'm knackered after that. I think I'll have to, uh, slow the pace down a little bit and uh, just uh, plod on up there so the ascent's starting to ease a bit now and you know, 1700 feet I've just reached a couple of the cairns marking the path God, I mean, carbs are killing me. It's, uh, what time is it? It's half past five. Oh, excuse me. That's an hour to here. And uh, I don't think it's much further now. Look at the views.
footage there. The one down there. God, beautiful. I'm looking forward to topping out and then seeing, seeing the rest of the mountains in the Lake District. I'll tell you what, there is up here, there's loads of uh, daddy long legs. Um, see, nearly one in my mouth it a minute ago. I don't know what the technical term for them is, but uh, you know, we know them as daddy long legs. Ah, oh, here we are. Black Coombe, 600 metres, what's that? Um, just sort of 2,000 feet, 1960, something like that. Uh, lovely weather shelter there. There's a cairn. Ooh. And the whole of the Lake District sat out there before us. And now I think it's took me about five or six years this, but I think I can pretty much name all of them. And uh, yeah, it's great to be up here again. I think it's you know, 20 years since well, I, was, I was last up here and I came up on my mountain bike um, and pushed it most of the way up as you can imagine. Yeah, so now, oh, what time is it? It's 20 to 6, set off at half past 4. So the job now is find somewhere to pitch. There's a little arrow there telling you which way to go. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, big decision this. So I'm just going to have a wander and see where I fancy. Oh, so I just got pitched up. It's um, seven o'clock. Oh, it's nice. I've just been speaking to a uh, retired doctor. Really nice chat with him. Must have been talking to him for about half an hour. But uh, I think that's it now. Can't see uh, anyone else turning up now. So what do you think of the pitch then? Not bad at all. Look at that for a view. Scarfells and Bowfell and Crinkle Crags and the Coniston Fells there. Looking out to sea, Sellafield up there. And there's a summit, summit shelter. Yeah. Really lovely, really is. And got a first as well, something to show you. I've actually remembered it. Can you believe that? So I've got a falafel salad, some uh, almond cheese butts, a nice Beaujolais packet of crisps. I'm really looking forward to that. So it took me, I think it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get up here. Um, just short of 2,000 feet at the summit. I'm not sure where I'm pitched. I'll check that in a minute, the height. But uh, I'm dead pleased with it. Nice chilled out one on a bank holiday. And I thought, I've just got to avoid all that lot. When I was driving up here, I just think it's going to be madness. I'm sure it, all that lot, I'm sure it's madness. But got the solitude here. Looking forward to sunset over there and then sunrise over there so where i've got the tent pitch like this hopefully i can sort of see both that's the that's the plan anyway but uh yeah i'm uh, pretty hungry now so i'm going to uh, start tucking into that lot i think
Yeah, I can't believe it. I've had these glasses for a couple of months now. Pretty nifty. But uh, I've had them for a couple of months, but I've, for a couple of months I've been forgetting to bring them. So tonight, a bit of class. Not, uh, not the old swigging it out of the bottle trick that I'm uh, usually doing. Look at that. Cheers. Lovely that. And just behind you, the cloud is starting to roll in as well, off the sea. Weird. Right, I'm going to uh, enjoy this salad and my wine, I think. And I'll see you in a bit. Oh, so I've just had my tea, really enjoyed that. <coughs> and I thought we would have a walk up to the summit weather shelter. I've got my wine. So let's uh, let's have a wander up there and have a chat. Yeah, so I'm just up at the uh, summit weather shelter now. There's a trig point there. See my tent? Oh, see the wine glass, see the tent. But uh, that mist has just been rolling in off the sea. And um, like two minutes ago, I couldn't even see any of the mountains. I don't know which way I'm gonna go back tomorrow. There's, a, there's sort of a ridge round that way. I wanted to go that way. But there's no path once you get down to the road there's just no path at all um so i'll have to walk back on the road and that road is it's quite narrow and it's quite busy and there's no footpath so i've just got to be careful i'm not sure what i'm going to do but uh i think i'm going to do that i just you know i'm not into just walking back the same way again yeah so i've had my tea Enjoy my wine. Sun's going to probably be setting in about half an hour. You can see the sky changing colour. That's uh, that's out to the west there. So we'll have a walk back to the tent, I think, and uh, have a wait for that sunset and just uh, take it all in. It's a Friday night, so. Club Classics is on the radio, best night to be out for me, I absolutely love it and uh, so I've got that rattling away in the tent, copyright issue so I can't uh, film when that's on but uh, we're all good. Well, good morning. It's 22.7. Sun came up about quarter past six, I think. But uh, can't really see anything because uh, it's all sort of a bit claggy. You see over there, 
really damp though. That mist has been coming in off the sea all night and uh, everything's soaking wet. Just see it there on the tent. See all these flies as well. They're everywhere, them things. All inside the tent as well. I kept the door open for some of the night like that and all inside the blooming tent. Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'm just gonna have a, have a mooch over to the summit shelter and just uh, start waking up a bit, I think. So it's 10 past nine now, and I've just finished packing up. Leave no trace, look at that. All nice and lovely. And right on cue, 
it's clearing. Look at that. Out to sea there. I really wanted to show you that. So I'm going to have a walk back over to the summit and we'll have a look at that sea view. The Isle of Man is clear as anything just there. Wow, and the wind farms. Let's go up to the summit and check it out. So I've just made it, still on the trig now. And uh, wow, yeah, brilliant views. Out to the wind farm, the Irish Sea there, beautiful blue water. You can just see the clouds starting to clear now. And then looking over to the Lake District Mountains over there. Yeah, really nice, really is. And then, oh, daddy long legs still here. And then looking south there. Wow, brilliant. Right, time to uh, start heading back, I think, before I uh, break my neck and fall off this thing. <laughs> Let's go. Right, we're just starting to drop down from the summit now and I uh, really want to check out these crags, look at that. That looks brilliant, right up my street. But uh, again, amazing views, of cellar field up there. Look at the clouds just sat on top of the mountains there. Um, not sure what they are. Uh, Skidors there, I think. But uh, brilliant that. If anyone's up there, they're going to have a really nice inversion. So you can just about see my path and then it curves around the end of the valley then then zigzags down into that valley but uh, again views south there to the, the estuary coming in yeah brilliant and it really is looking like it's going to make a nice day so let's uh, head on that way and check out these crags I think yeah so this is Black Coon Crags look at that really spectacular Wow. Just seen some sheep down there. <laughs> they get everywhere, them bloody sheep. No fear. Right, so I'm going to rejoin the path now over there and then off to the, the end of the valley there and then loop back round and down there somewhere. I've never been this way before, so it's all new, which is uh, all good. Right, we'll keep going. So I've just uh, turned round the head of the valley there, round there and looking back across to 
Black Coombe Crags, look at that. So spectacular. And then down there, looking south to, uh, I think that's Grange, that way. The estuary coming in there. Yeah, really nice. So I'm just heading down the zigzags now, which uh, sort of snake the way down the side of this fell. Little stream running down there as well. Oh dear. It's a sad sight, I wonder what happened to that. Looks looks healthy. No real marks on it at all. Anyway, we'll keep going. How beautiful is that? So I'm nearly at the road now, just looking back to uh, where I was last night from Black Coon there. And this is probably the most dodgiest bit of the whole route and there's no real way around it. There's no paths up this side at all, so I've got to I've got to go on the road and I say it's a 60 mile an hour limit this road and there's no footpaths so I just have to be really careful and not hang around I want to get a move on on this road and be on it as little as possible so wish me luck and uh, I'll see you when we get back in the car I just keep running these tight sections so I can get to somewhere like this and just be careful. Just swapping from one side of the road to the other so the drivers get the best line of sight. You've got to be so careful, them boys ain't stopping in, uh, in a hurry anyway. So I just keep moving around from one side of the road to the other, which is ever's got the best line of sight for traffic. None of this sticking on the side that's oncoming traffic it doesn't work on roads like this. You just got to be really careful and just know what you're doing, as stupid as that sounds. Think about the drivers, give them as much opportunity to see you as possible. Hello again. Well, as you can see, I'm not. Um, I've not just got back from Black Coombe. That's because when I got back to the car, I forgot to do a sign off. So uh, rather than just leave it hanging, I thought I'd uh, call in at Ambleside and uh, just give you guys a bit of an update. But I've just 
just walked up from the car park, which is just down there. It's a nice little walk. I know it quite well. I've done it a number of times. Nice, easy walk from the car park. But I uh, just sat down there and put I me mean, ants, flying ants everywhere. So if I keep shuffling around, that's why it is. But uh, yeah, so Black Coombe, that was, I really enjoyed it. It was nice to get out right on the edge of the Lake District, that is. Um, I think it's probably the most southwesterly peak in the Lake District. And I believe it's not a Wainwright. I mean, what's that about? Um, not that I'm a bagger, as you know. But um, yeah, so great walk really enjoyed it apart from that road slog i think it took me about 40 minutes to walk back on the road just to get back to the car and uh it wasn't good that it was dodgy you just had to be really really careful of traffic so anyway made it back safely to the car and uh all was good but while i was up there andy beavers got in touch with me and uh asked me if I fancy going out last night and um so I get, got in touch with him and arranged to meet up. I cobbled a, a plan together and uh, we met up in Esdale and had a nice, easy, quiet one. No filming, um, just a nice, relaxed one. Enjoying each other's company, exchanging uh, the old talking crap in the mountains and you know that's what it's all about. So really enjoyed that as well. Yeah, so I'll insert a few pictures here from, uh, from last night just above Esdale with Andy. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Nothing too strenuous, but we had a, amazing skies at night. No wind, no insects. It was no, it was really good. Really was. Look at these though. Can you see them? That's them. I mean, ants. Oh God. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I'm probably going to uh, going to head back now and uh, hit the M6 and join the join the traffic. I don't know what it's going to be like. People will probably be heading home maybe today or tomorrow. I'm not sure, but uh, it is what it is. I've had a great weekend. Great time on the Black Coombe and uh, good night with Andy last night as well. So hope you've enjoyed it too. As always, get in the comments if you've got anything to say about my video or the routes or if you have any advice for me or any questions. I always love to hear from you guys and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See ya. Thank you.